This is the 39th Leco challenge and it is called Combination Sum. Given an array of distinct integers, candidates, and a target integer, target, return a list of all unique combinations of candidates with the chosen number sum to target. You may return the combinations in any order. The same number may be chosen from candidates an unlimited number of times. Two combinations are unique if the frequency of at least one of the chosen numbers is different. The test cases are generated such that the number of unique combinations that sum up to target is less than 150 combinations for the given input. So if you have the candidates 2, 3, 6, 7 and the target is 7, 2 plus 2 plus 3 equals 7 and then 7 equals 7. And if you have 2, 3, 5 and the target 8, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8, 2 plus 3 plus 3 and then 3 plus 5. If you have candidate 2, target 1, then there is nothing so it returns an empty list. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so with this challenge, I think it'll be rather straightforward to do. So the way we do it is, we start off with the first number here, like 2, and we keep summing this until we either reach the target or we go over it. And when we do reach the target, we then backtrack, and then we try the next one. If that's still over, then we backtrack again, and we keep going like that. So we're trying every combination up to the point that it is either equal to or over. So I'm going to start off with creating the list which we'll be using and we'll call this output and in here output equals new and the way we'll do this is with a function and what would this function be? I think we can just do public void call it sum and we will pass it int sum and int candidates I think and it also pass the target so what we'll do here is oh actually I forgot to need to also so we've got some candidates target we also need the current uh, combination so list int combin combination so we can do if Actually, this will be for each int candidate in candidates sum plus equal candidate if do sum is less than target we will then so we'll do is if it's greater than if it's greater than we will return otherwise combination dot add candidate if sum equals target this will be output dot add combination so we add to the combination there and then we return otherwise we run sum again so if you run sum again we need to modify candidates as well could be also neat we'll create a sum copy which is equal to sum plus candidate because we want to keep the original copy we also want a copy of the I know this can go in here combination copy equals combination I think you can do that just to copy the values because when during this loop we don't want it to be changing the values of combination sum was when it goes starts over again you want the original values you know, we'll also create a candidates copy but this will be outside might need to change that to list because I want to be yeah this will be list of int yeah there we go and then down here when we iterate through again we will do remove the first one first item in it and we pass it on so run this here which will be sum start off as sum of zero candidates dot to list target and the current combination is new list and then we return output okay I'm gonna put a breakpoint in here and run through what it's doing so for each candidate in candidates candidate 
is zero, no, wait, two to get good. So some copy is now two, some is not greater than. That's being added to the list, a combination copy, and we're going through again. So it should be two again, which is less than. Okay, why is candidates copy zero? Okay, must have done something wrong there with copying the list. So candidate, okay, combinations. Okay, I did the wrong. There we go. So run through it again. Candidate two. Some copies two, which is less than target. So we run again. So candidate two, which is still less than. So we can keep going. So then go to six. And we'll go to heal plus two to eight. Why is it four? Okay, so it's gone to eighty go to six or whatever, exited. Then it'll run through here again. So candidate three. It'll add it on and it equals target, so it adds it to there and returns. Okay, so let's continue running it, remove this breakpoint and make sure it does everything else. Let's see. Okay, yep, it returned Okay, this is not correct. Target of huh. In their test example they forgot two, three, three, which is eight. Oh no, that is what they had, I just wrote it wrong. Okay. Yeah, so change it to three three. Run again just to make sure. Two two three seven, two two three seven, two 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 three three. Okay. So that is all working. Let's go up to here and we will copy and paste it all into leak code. So run on the test one just to make sure. Yep, that's still working, so let's submit. Okay, we've got a wrong answer. So it returned nothing, even though there's a bunch it can return. Okay, so we'll add this into ours. Okay, so we've got those all in now. So let's run through and see what went wrong. So candidate eight, we add that on. That's all good, we run again. Ah, oh, okay, I know the issue. I assumed that it was all in, it was sorted in order. Okay, well, now that we know it's not, let's just sort it, I guess. So int sorted candidates equals, so candidates or sort or something I can do. Now yeah, let's just look up. C sharp sort array. Okay, array dot sort. Knew there would have been something like that. Array dot sort. Ah, oh, okay, we don't even need to do that. There we go. And yeah, it returned same numbers but in a different order. So hopefully that's all good. I'm pretty sure it said it doesn't need to be in this exact order. So let's add that to a use case. And we'll put sorting there. So let's run it. Yep, and that one was. All good, so now let's submit. And there we go. That was the 39th Fleet Code Challenge called Combination Sum. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.